Okay, now let's think about how to solve this uh, particle in the box problem uh, using the Schrodinger equation. Remember, the key is that what the Schrodinger equation is the wave equation for matter waves. So we now imagine that the particle, not as this, uh, uh, we, we know that quantum mechanically, if we have a, a very small particle, a quantum, mechani uh, quantum particle, we can't think of it as a well-defined particle anymore whose position and momentum we know with arbitrary precision. We know that we have that the particle has wave-like characteristics. Uh, these uh, the wavelength is described by de Broglie's principle. Um, we have an uncertainty principle, which tells us that we can't measure the momentum and the and the uh, position with arbitrary accuracy at the same time. Okay, and all that basically says that we have to use some sort of wave equation, which, as we discussed, is the Schrödinger equation. So in this case, uh, we have again that this these potential this uh, this potential energy here that we've defined, u of x uh, equals zero in between the walls and equals an infinity at the walls, is static. That is, it's not changing in time. Okay, and so we can use the time independent Schrödinger equation. If you recall, we can separate variables into a time component of the of the wave function and a space component of the wave function, and that allows us to solve just the space component of the Schrödinger equation. Um, the time independent part, and then the and then the um, the part the 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 uh, temporal part of the wave function is in in this case is just going to always be the same as I've written over here. Okay, so we have this time independent Schrödinger equation. Okay, and again between the two walls the uh, the potential energy is equal to zero, and so this term just goes away, and we're just left with minus h bar squared over 2m d squared psi over uh, dt squared is equal to e psi. Now, um, remember, this is the kinetic energy term, okay? So this is just telling you that the mechanical energy is um, is all in the kinetic energy because the potential energy is zero. Okay, so that's just another way of saying that. We can rearrange terms here so that we have a second, uh, it's clear that we have a second order differential equation, linear differential equation, d psi d squared psi dt squared is equal to minus 2me divided by h bar squared times psi. Okay. Now, <clears throat> um, we can, uh, if, we re if we remember, uh, the momentum is related to the wave number like this, so p is equal to h bar k, that's an adaptation of one of de Broglie's relationships, okay? And so we notice here that uh, 2me or the square root of 2me over h bar is just equal to p. So 2me is equal to p squared, okay? So root 2me is equal to p, we divide by h bar, and that's exactly equal to k by, by this. So p over h bar is equal to k. And so we can rewrite this, um, we can rewrite that, uh, uh, this formula here in this, in this other way. We just simplify it, where now k is equal to 2me over h bar. All right, and now we this we this again this is a second order linear differential equation um, of the general form d squared f of x dx squared is equal to b times f of x, and these there are well known solutions to um, to to a linear differential uh, to a differential equation of this form. In particular, if b is less than zero, and b here is just this. Uh, this constant that defines this uh, particular form of, diff of, a diff of a general differential equation, if b is less than zero, then you get solutions of the form shown right here, okay? And now we identify um, minus k squared as b, okay? So in fact, b is less than zero, and, uh, and therefore we're gonna get um, uh, solutions of the form uh, psi of x is equal to a sine kx plus b cosine kx, where again, we've basically just used this general form for the differential equation that has this particular um, form, okay? Now, um, we use boundary conditions to find uh, the values of a and b, okay? In particular, we know that at, at x equals zero, so psi of zero has to be equal to zero because we said that that's, that's the case. Um, and so that means that, uh, that b here has to go uh, to zero, 